Hello again, this is Bernie and uh, Supernova on the forum. Now what I've done here is I want to do a video to, to show you uh, the modification I've done with um, the carbon chassis. As you can see all the aluminium has been removed on both panels, both sides. And hello Ben, that's my parrot. And um, okay. Yeah, well, that's his telephone. Now, back to what I was saying. <laughs> Hello. Um, I've removed quite a few parts here to get the balance right on the on the helicopter. Now, <clears throat> uh, with the carbon panels um, in place, I did notice there was a slight difference in the flight. It was a longer time. Now, I thought to give me give myself a bit more time. I'll take away the, the two skid runners, the two arms from here to the back with the little fin on it, and uh, that's got rid of quite a bit of weight. But to balance that out, I added a small weight on the back here with a bit of blue tack from the uh, balance weight that comes on the little light at the front here. Now that made it stable, but I had to add this fin back on again just to give it a little bit more. Um, and it does fly really well. Um, I've made the uh, blades a little bit more flexible. As you can see they're very very flexible now. Um, and um, to be honest I think it's much much better. Uh, hopefully if they if SEMA can see this video they'll they'll take this on board and lighten the thing because that does make a lot of difference. Um, now as I said before uh, the carbon was given to me by Dale. Now he's the one who did the uh, battery modification which goes under here to give you more time. Now because I've lost so much weight I can probably put the battery modification on there and get a lot of extra time flying. Now when it takes off um, <clears throat> you'll see that uh, I don't need um, probably much less than quarter throttle to actually get it to lift off. Uh, rather than go straight up to full flight to, to get it to take off and then hover. So it's a massive improvement. Um, so at the end of this little clip what I'm going to do is film it flying and show you what I mean. Uh, taking the skids off doesn't really make any difference to the landing because it just comes down as normal. Um, but it's definitely lighter and it, of course that's going to make it fly a lot longer on a standard battery. But if you put Dale's mod on here, um, I don't know how long it's going to last. You'd probably be up all day with it. But um, yeah, I mean, give it a go. If you, if, we can probably manufacture these and uh, send them out to you if you want them. Um, all you've got to do is get in touch with us on the forum, and uh, we'll see what we can do. But I'm not going to guarantee that. As I, as I say, I haven't spoken to uh, Dale yet because he lives the other side of the world from me. But I'm sure we can do something for you. Okay, well, have a look at the video of it flying and uh, see what you think. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, so here we go with the flight test. Um, I've got to be very very careful now because I've never actually um, done this before but uh, we'll see how she goes. Um, it's very difficult to try and control it because as I say it's so light and uh, <laughs> there we go. But it is just as controllable as it was before um, but I've got to be very careful with the throttle because <clears throat> As I said, it's so much lighter. I'm using less than less than half throttle just to make it hover. Uh, although it does tend to still go forwards a little bit, but as you can see, it's still well balanced. And uh, there you go. After all the messing around I've done, it's really worth it. I suspect you can see the little tiny feathers from Ben, uh, my little parrot. <laughs> He's, uh, he's an African grey by the way, if anybody's interested. He's laughing now. But, uh, oh, yeah. So, um, 
There you go, it's not too bad. I've taken so much weight off it, it's so manoeuvrable. Yeah, we're in a perfect hover look. There's a little bit of uh, adjustment. Um, yeah, it does really do well. And I haven't timed the flight, but I will do in the future if anybody's interested. Um, just to let you know how much I've gained. I mean, normally it does about seven minutes, but I expect we might even get ten out of it now. <coughs> like I said, I haven't, uh, haven't timed anything. It's difficult. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's really difficult to look at the camera and fly at the same time. Um, but, uh, there we go. I'm trying to get a little bit closer so you can see it. There we go. It's still got a tendency to go forwards. I think I need a little bit more, a touch more weight on the back end. But that's easily done with the old good old blue tack. But there you go, there's the, uh, the carbon modification. A super light helicopter. And uh, she flies extremely well. So let's put her back on the, on the table. And there you go. Oh, let's move it over a little bit. Oh, come on. Oh, well, don't want to play anymore. There you go, that's it. That's the carbon chassis and the super light helicopter, the 107. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.